grab your popcorn because you are watching So Kawaii. Hey guys, it's so Sokori. If you can kind of tell like the tripod, it's a little bit weird. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what my tripod is. I am literally filming this video on a Hello Kitty cream puff and this weird nail polish. So if you can kind of tell like a different tripod is being used, like references. <laughs> Anyways, today I'll be doing squishies that are completely worth it and I got this idea from Kathy DM. So if you're wondering like, is she copying Kathy DM? No, I'm not, I got inspired by her. So I have eight squishies to show you guys, so anyways, let's get started. The first squishy that I think is worth it is this Cutie Creative Loaf, and the reason being is because it is so, so big, and it's like the size of my face. Also, like the packaging is super, super cute. And... Uh, a lot of you guys have been wondering where I got this squishy. I got this squishy from Creamy Candy if you're wondering. I'm not sure if they still sell these, but yeah, that's where I got this. I believe I paid around $18, and which is a pretty good price. Next squishy is this Hello Kitty Donut, and it's the one that comes in like the box. Obviously, I think this is worth it because packaging is like 20 out of 10. So here is how the donut looks out of packaging. These are also scented if you like scented squishies. This smells like vanilla slash strawberries. Next three squishies, which I kind of think that like they all fall into the same category, which are these little buns. So here is a panda bun and I just think that these are worth it because these are usually pretty cheap, like under $2 and they are so super, super squishy. Like seriously as squishy as like an eye bloom squishy, but you know. And here is a blush bun that my friend got me. And lastly is this hamburger that I featured in my recent video. And this was an extra from Bunnyful Wishes. So I just think that these squishies are really inexpensive and they are well worth it. Next squishy is this Cutie Creative Loaf. I mean cutie creative steam bun and I think this is pretty worth it because I believe that these are under $12 and these look exactly like the J Dream steam buns but a lot more cheaper because like the J Dream ones are seriously like $30 and I just think that this is really worth it if you just want a squishy that looks like a J Dream squishy but not as expensive and this is so so squishy and I also believe that a brand called Chawa Chawa, they also created some steam buns as well. And I believe that the colors are pearl pink, pearl purple, and pearl blue. The next squishy, which I believe is worth it, is this bear bun. And these are by the brand Puni Maru. And here are the other like designs you can get. First of all, this packaging slays. And here is the squishy itself. It comes with a really nice ball chain and this acrylic tag of the animal and it's just a bear as you can tell. This is also pretty squishy, not like eye bloom, slow risingness, but it's really, really squishy. And here is the back, which is pretty textured. Next squishy, which is also another Punimaru squishy, is this humongous strawberry. I did feature this in my recent video as well, but I just believe that this is really worth it and it is huge and it's really slow rising. Here is it out of packaging and I'm obsessed with this squishy and it comes with like a really cute monkey. Here is the tag that is ginormous and also there's a little strawberry acrylic tag. Also comes with a little desk pluggy, but I, I personally wouldn't put this on my phone just because of like the size of it because it's just gonna like fall off. But if you do wanna put it on your phone, then go for it, you know? I just really recommend this and I think it's really well worth it. The next squishy is this Hello Kitty in a melon costume and here's the tag. 
So these are so, so cute, and I'm hoping that one day I could get the orange one and the pink strawberry one because they're adorable. They're super, super slow rising, and I'm not sure if stores are still selling these because I haven't really seen any stores that are like selling the non-reproduced ones. But if you can get your hands on the non-reproduced Hello Kitty fruits, then I definitely recommend it. Here's the back. And the last two squishies, which are basically the same thing, well not the same thing, but like the same brand. They are these Eye Bloom squishies, and this is the Eye Bloom Orange and the Eye Bloom Milk Bottle. So here is the Eye Bloom Milk Bottle firstly. You guys probably know how slow rising Eye Bloom squishies are. And I just think that these are really well worth it, even though they are still so expensive. They're about like $20 to $22. But they are really, really squishy and they are really well worth it. I probably said really well worth it like 20 times in this video. The next one is this Eye Bloom Orange. And once again, this is pretty expensive. But I think that squishy collectors should have this squishy because it is really slow rising and is a must for all squishy YouTubers. <laughs> This smells like oranges, and this smells like chemicals. So anyways, those are all the squishies that I think that are really well worth it and, and that I believe that squishy collectors should have in their collection. So thank you all so, so much for watching. And by the way, thank you guys for 11K. Thank you. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.